Hey all you, come watch me play, even though you're right there and I'm miles away. Hey Spencer, hope you had a great day. Now let's play, you're cool. Hello Spencer, and welcome back to me playing Braid. Okay, so let's... I wasn't really paying attention last 30 seconds of the last episode, so let's figure out where's the key that I need. Um... Okay, so there it is, and it's a magical key. Let's restart there. Okay. I want to go over here. And then time's going to go backwards. this part. <clears throat> Aha! Okay. Now that's the interesting part with Braid. It's just figuring out proof of concept versus messing up the execution. move forward, I move forward in time. But I definitely want to get it from this angle. I think I, I think I knew how to do this one, and I was just upset at going through the back door, taking the easy way. Um. I didn't finish it, even though I knew. Go this way. Cool. Okay, so that's that one. But something I've been thinking about is the quality of my Let's Plays. Okay, finish this level. And, oh boy, it's going to be tough. Okay, um, okay I'm going to figure out this puzzle, and I'll continue with that thought. So, there's six guys that I have to get, and once I kill them all, it will stay open no matter what, if I rewind. Oh, it'll stay open even if I rewind. So I don't have to worry about being up on the top areas when it opens. As long as I've been up there, I can rewind to when I was up there and then I can get it. So all I have to do is kill them in any order that allows me to kill them all. Which is tough, because whenever I move to the left, it goes back in time, which might revive some of them. I remembered last time I tried doing it left to right. Let's see about that. I can't kill this guy except way over here. So it's good to get him out of the way first. Mm. 
And then... Maybe this guy first? Okay, I'm gonna figure out the order, possibly through process of elimination. Uh, but while I talk about that... Um... Yeah, I've been thinking about the quality of my Let's Plays. I make sure that cuz I, I think over the last few months I've been kind of boning it in where let's say starting with Mass Effect I thought oh you know this game has potential um I, I'll just you know just play the game, say whatever comes to mind, and that will be entertaining. But then, um... That's not really the best method. I think I'm starting to get this. Um, cause back. Okay, this this is the hard part. How do I get up there? Kill that guy when. Oh, I think, think I've got an idea. Yeah, I want to be able to rewind to this point after I kill those guys. But, oh damn, but if I rewind... I'll put me back and survive them. No. How? How? Hmm. I don't see. Anyway, um. So yeah, I, I think I thought, oh, you know, some games I can just phone it in, react to them on their own, like Mass Effect and Batman and all that, and I don't need to worry about bringing my A game, being, you know, doing any preparation work, I'll just play them and talk, but I think that that's not really been the most entertaining option. It's just resulted in a lot of mediocre episodes. Um, that, you know, aren't particularly fun to watch other than maybe seeing some gameplay and hearing an annoying voice. So, what I want to do, starting this recording session and with the last one, is making sure that I put in the prep work to make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm really being mindful of the performance I'm putting out, and damn, how do I, how do I kill you?
Um, and I think the first step of that is choosing the right game. I think Braid is a good game. It's got puzzles and stuff. It's fun to watch. It's hard to balance, as you can see in this episode, it's hard to balance talking about something else with playing the game. But I think it worked out better last episode. I think I just have to, you know, be okay with some episodes being more focused on being really confused by the puzzle and committing to that and being honest about my experience with the puzzle. Because I think that can be interesting, you know? It's part of the seeing me play and not worrying about you know, also providing commentary if that's just going to uh, reduce the quality of both the commentary and the play, the gameplay, um, or like right now. So, you know what? I'm actually going to stop talking about that. About this. So. We've got six guys, no, five guys dead. Burger place is destroyed. And we've just got one guy. The only way I know to get to him is by jumping from that platform up there down onto his head. And now, of course, I've got all of me talking to rewind through. Um... I can't get to that ladder, though, without reviving the guys on the top. So, I have to think about the puzzle of this one is making sure that I'm meeting them in the right place to determine the order that they die so that as I kill the others, I don't have to backtrack their deaths or to continue on killing the others. But... How much can I control where I meet them? Or is it set where I meet them and it's purely about order? I'm not sure. I think I'll spend some time off screen playing around with it a little bit. Just to figure out that question. So that. I at least have an idea of how I want to try to do this. Right now, I am completely unsure. I had one idea, it did not work out. Now, I need a new one. Okay. Good night, Spencer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, or else I. Just might die. Not really.